Well, let's go to Jim Waterson, who is deputy news editor at BuzzFeed UK. He joins us live from uh, our studios in central London. What's your perspective on what's happened here? Well, it's a very odd story because this was, at this time yesterday, Emily Thornberry was going to campaign for a no-hope candidate in the by-election. She was just going about and posted this tweet. This afternoon, her career is in tatters and all because of the interpretation of it. And the most interesting thing is, although this started on Twitter, it's the fact that the Labour Party was so terrified of the reaction from the newspapers that she had to resign. It was the fact that it's on the Sun's front page and they're driving the white van man around central London today to stir up the story. That's what really scares them. And I guess it's a clear um, example of what can happen in politics. It's often the things that you just don't foresee that have a big impact. She viewed this as a completely uh, you know, irrelevant observation of her day campaigning and before she knows it, she's on the front page of the newspapers. And it's all to do with the way that uh, Emily Thornberry just failed to completely understand what was going on here or understand the, the effect that it would have on Rochester. And how much has it got people talking? Oh, this, this has been the main story of the day. I mean, if you look at, uh, at what's been going on on Twitter, it's been trending all day. Although there is something of a backlash. I think there's a lot of people on, you know, failing to understand how some ministers can make outrageous comments and people resign over tweets instead. But, you know, you can, you can vote one way on, uh, on major matters of state and yet you step out of line slightly on social media and you're gone. And the other issue of this is where do you draw the line for future resignations? Uh, if, if you go over this, if someone tweets anything at all that is deemed to be outrageous for an afternoon, does that mean they also have to resign? Jim Waterson from BuzzFeed UK, thank you. Well, let's bring in our assistant political